I think it's important for you guys to know, it takes levels, man. It, he, he didn't just jump into this. 75,000 lumens between the five of them. Jesus. So. What's up guys, so we just launched a Mr. ET. This is the first time we've done this, check it out. There's a limited quantity, it's on the site right now. It's gonna be awesome, you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this one. See what the mystery is all about. Thank you guys, later. What's up guys, we are out in Palmdale at our buddy Tanner Lovegreen's shop, Independence Electric. Tanner does some great work, works on some great projects, and he's gonna show us his freaking badass Bronco. So this is the shop, huh? Yep. All right, dude. Yep. What's up, man? Thank you for inviting us out here, man. So, so Tanner, you guys, has been a, a friend of ours for a long time. He's been at the booth a couple times. Like, yeah, we did Pomona, the expo. Off-road expo, Tanner, you, you, and you demoed this, right? Yep. Took yep. this out on the demo track, swing this big old booty all yeah. over the place. <laughs> Before we hop into this beautiful beast, I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot of questions. Why is it so long? Why does it work so well? Why is it so awesome? That's what she said. But first, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about uh, Independence Electric. Tanner, tell us about it, man. What's, what is Independence Electric? So it's mostly off-road. I mean, we, sometimes we do get some boats and things like that. Uh, we definitely don't work on your 2010 Honda Civic for your electrical issue. You know, we kind of do more mil-spec wiring, all okay. wrapped in heat. Uh, range and heat shrink and things like that. So you, know? you guys are doing like jobs for people, from the ground up jobs, yeah. problem solving, all that kind of stuff? Yep. Yeah, we'll do them, we'll do them from scratch. Uh, you know, I get a lot of trucks that come in, just chassis and motor, and we do the motor harness if it has any trans electrical it needs done, and then all the other electronics that's in the truck. So these guys will basically get like a rolling chassis in here, pretty yep. much, right? You guys have done those kinds of things? Yeah, definitely. Um, what, what trucks have you guys worked on that we might know? I mean, some that you might know, definitely All American Senders. I'm coming in. Hot. That one's actually coming back. We're doing a little updating, kind of changing some things because there's a lot of different levels that you can do things, a lot of different parts that you can put on, so. Yeah, and, kind of, and it could get. Oh, you can go crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So. I mean, I you hear some wiring jobs up in like $50,000 yeah. range. Yeah, if you get Motec. Motec and, and all that all crazy stuff. stuff. Yeah. But, but, but there's. There's some other ones that are like more friendly for like the, the like the weekend off road kind of yeah. guy too, right? Yeah, no, yeah. I've I've wired um, like for example like a bear, you know, uh, it was a Toyota pickup from scratch. You know, there was no wiring on it when it came here and it left for you know five thousand dollars, and then I've done twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, so it's all honestly as crazy as the customer allows it. You know, my okay. my level of work and quality doesn't change from those prices. It's the parts that you choose change that price from. We, we love you know. to hear that. Look at that, you guys. Tanner's one of our boys, man. He's been part of what we've been doing for a long time. If you guys are serious about getting some really good quality work done, please hit these guys up. I know you guys got a schedule in advance, so plan it, connect with them if you guys are serious. If you guys are having them like do a fan, probably not a good idea. No hate on the little projects, but you know, True, true. Tell us about this thing, man. So, 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 so what make your model all that? 1995. That was uh, super clean. Eddie Bauer, really nice. Back when Broncos were like a thousand dollars stock, you know. Uh, now they're like five times that price. <laughs> I took my wife to prom in it. Where, oh, you took so, her to prom? I took her to prom. So I've had it a long time, it's 10-ish uh, years now. And then it's been through a lot of different stages, you know, definitely a kid just kind of balling on a budget like everyone. How can I make the most epic rap video ever without spending any money? The first thing I did was cage it. Solo Motorsports did the front end for me. Cage got done in a fab sh local fab shop and then Bobby did uh, the whole front end on it. And then I ran it front end with the stock, stock rear forever. So okay. uh, that was, you know, just building in. How was that? I mean like, you know, there's a lot of people that jump into in, into bigger builds, but yeah. I think it's important for you guys to know, it takes levels, yeah. man. It, he, he didn't just jump into this. Sometimes we see funny comments, we're like, oh man, you guys only show yeah. rich guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys have no idea. I have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. Ten yeah. years, ten years, and every penny. It's crazy. You know? So that, still every penny. Exactly, so. you guys. It, it takes steps and stages. You started yeah. off with the solo cage. Local shop helped build the cage. This is his high school truck. And, and, and I mean, and look at it now. Back there, you know, sweet wheel spacers. Hell yeah. So it just kind of, you know, I got leaf springs on it, and then. Eventually kept breaking rear ends and then you get a full floater and then you know you just you end up here eventually. Little by little. Yep. Check out the front of this beast, man. Yeah, we got the Project X HP 70s on there. So Ooh, these things are looking nice, man. Heck yeah. Uh, 75,000 lumens between the five of them. Jesus so, Christ. Yeah. So, <laughs> that, that, that's a lot of light, dude. Yeah, I originally wanted a roof rack like on your truck. Oh, okay. I've been pretty jealous of that, but after putting these on and going out there, I'm like, you, I need more light. You're good so, just with this. Plenty. You know what, I've always been a fan of just the lights on the bumper too. How have you noticed from your previous setup to this setup with lighting? Definitely crazy improvement because the previous, I had behind the grill and I kind of hid them behind the grill because I had, you know, some knockoff, little cheap stuff. I okay. didn't really want everyone to know. Yeah. <laughs> so I had them hid back there. But uh, so yeah, definitely, you know, moving them in front and obviously the quality of these lights is insane. I mean, it's not even comparable. So tell us about this front end. This is no longer the solo no kit. No longer the solo kit. We got Ocho Fab fabricated beam. So it's still Dana 44, which is what came on the truck. It's extended four and a half inches. And Andrew there at Ocho Fab makes some super cool stuff. This is all fabricated where in previous times the beams were cut and extended. So, and actually I'm uh, getting some new beams from Andrew that Rather than ball joints, they're going to have uniballs on the ends and okay. fabricated knuckles, big brakes. And what, what, what's stuff. the benefit in that? To put on the 40s, that's kind of where, I mean, I've never had a problem with this at all. Never had, honestly, I never had a problem with the old beams either. But with the 40s, uh, it's really not even about the beams or the ball joints as much. It's big brakes, you know, there's okay. a lot of tire that's trying to stop. The hubs and the spindles are kind of the wink link on this setup. Okay. No, for, a smaller, like a Ranger, Dana 44 is a really good yeah. upgrade. But going to the 40s on this big heavy truck, now you can, with those fabricated knuckles, you can put on race hubs. I think right. it's Sandy Cone makes four wheel drive locking race hubs, which is pretty, pretty trick. It, obviously it is still four wheel drive. Yeah. It's gotta be four wheel drive for a Bronco to me. I can put a Raptor conversion on it, an LS, all that, but it's gotta be four wheel drive. It has to have four wheel yeah. drive. If I get stuck or really comes in handy if I need to tow some out. Again, so, especially on those giant desert expedition trips yeah. you guys are doing. Yeah. So we're going up to the 40s. Yeah. So, so what do you got on here right now? 37s. 37s, Which okay. Got, got, uh, down, you know. Oh, There's wow, okay. Difference in 37s and 40s is. Let's see that difference, man. So. Holy moly. You know, it's just, it's a lot. Look at that, dude. That's crazy. Big boy. There's a lot of changes coming up, huh? I feel like this glass kind of needs the 40s, though. You know, it's pretty big, so it should look good in there. There's a little sneak peek, you guys. I think we're gonna have to come back when, when Tanner's, uh, truck has the 40s on it. Let's get a little sneak peek. Kind of get a view right there. Dude, it's gonna look like an RC car, man. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, with this setup that he had already, he was actually, he competed in a, in a short course race at Glen Helen. Yeah. Right, and you guys are doing really good. Yeah, second yeah. place, again, was, that was with the old motor. Super pumped on that. Crazy. I mean, I was excited with that. You know, the amount of power that I have now versus then is, you know, insane. So, so again, the gradual process, but yep. you know, you raced, you did well. I think especially power to weight ratio, by far the slowest vehicle there, <laughs> I guarantee it. Maybe, I mean, I don't it know. It didn't look the, like it. Maybe the class 11, maybe I might get him. I don't know, Blake could probably get me. Blake's a beast in that yeah. thing, dude. But this thing was to the floor for, I think it was an hour race, I'm pretty sure, which felt like 
10 hours in the truck. I can't even imagine like the 1,000 and stuff. Dude. The one th or that hour was crazy. Brutal. But yeah, no, it did good. The truck did great. I was super pumped, super cool to get second in it. You got second? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. So, super pumped. And you have a trophy to remember it. Yeah, there you go. Wow. <laughs> Here's the battle for second place in 1400. Oh, yes! The bicycle. Poor Tanner got center punched in the door. By? Probably by Matt. I Matt Turner, yeah. <laughs> now it's funny. Yeah, now it's funny. I mean, my door doesn't At first it was all tears, but now yeah. it's like laughing tears. Yeah. Hey, but that's racing, right? Happens. But so now we got, it's a LS3, okay. sort of. It's a 60 Why block. Why the quotations? It's a 60 block, okay. so it's a truck motor, so it's not really an LS. If you okay. want to be purist, you know? You're going to get but, that, uh, according yeah. to my calculations. Why? <laughs> but, <laughs> It's a it's a 6.2. It's it runs uh, Michael Cox and uh, Dylan got this together for me. Yeah, hey, those so. are the guys that built my motor. Yeah. High five. Did we just become best friends? Yep. How's it holding up though, for real? Because I don't Perfect. want this blowing up on me, bro. No, I think. Uh, Seriously. I think we're I'm about just kidding. A year just kidding, guys. Now. <laughs> it's been solid. I push on it all the time. I never even look at any temps, anything like that. It just. It goes. Dude, you know so, you know how reassuring that is, guys? Yeah. So those guys that he's talking about, Michael Cox from the factory, again, working on that <laughs> yeah. name. And, and my buddy Dylan is gonna be helping us with the Ranger build series, built this motor. And you hear that it's been running strong for a year yeah. and the way that Michael Cox beats the absolute piss out of his motors. Yeah. I'm excited, guys, I can't wait. So LS3. Yeah, LS3, LS bone stock, like whole LS3 rotating assembly, LS3 heads. LS3 intake, LS3 water pump, you know, nothing fancy on it. Just clean. Just, it goes, I mean, it's got a GM hot cam in it. I uh, had it tuned and, I mean, I kind of lose a little more power than other people because I got the four wheel drive, so I have the transfer case. Okay. Mix it up. I have a 10 inch third member from Evan Weller. And I'm told that loses a little more power than a nine inch. So everything just kind of yeah. eats it away. So I put down a whole 333, which wow. doesn't sound. No, that's a lot, dude. Well, I mean, I had 170 before, so, you know, double. Practically so, double, dude. You know, oh, my God. And it feels like, it feels like a trophy truck to me. Yeah. Like, I don't want to You're like, I'm good, man. Okay. Yeah. Don't let me drive someone else's truck faster, because then I'll be bummed. But yeah, yeah, to yeah. me, it's a lot. So I see you're running the Swayways, huh? Yeah. Right so, on, dude. Obviously, Heck yeah. you know, like I was saying, this truck got started a long time ago, and at that yeah. time, Swayway was, you know, Still around. Relevant. Yeah, yeah. And uh, shock package might be a little smaller than most, especially for the weight. They're just 2525 and okay. a 25 bump. Have these things been tuned by anybody or is it just you uh, guys? Just uh, my group chat. You know, okay, got it, got it. Mark, you know, all of our guys just kind of like I pulled them off. You know, had I taken them to someone, they would have probably nailed it in the first or second try, you know? Okay. And we've taken these things off. 10 times, different valving, different springs, you know? Okay. So we took a lot longer than everyone else would have, but and I'm sure someone else probably- pretty good about it? Someone could have probably, uh, I should say someone would definitely get it in better, Okay. but it does great. Hell so yeah. I'm pumped with it. That's great, dude. Well, you know, I love how much space you have up here. I love yeah. this giant radiator yeah. you got going on. That's why this thing's keeping cool. You got your trans cool over there. It All also has uh, maybe a little more unique to pre-runners. A lot of like buggies and uh, other older race cars used lead power steering, but not a lot of like new pre-runners use them. They kind of more into the track racing, like sprint cars, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it's got lead power steering, uh, ram assist on it, uh, tucked in there. Their, you know, pump and the modified my gearbox and all that. And that was a crazy improvement to have the ram nice. assist. Definitely. What glass is this? Uh, it's all fireworks. Oh, okay, so right on. I had showed up there and they were gonna, uh, we were just gonna do, at that time I had like a quarter top, you know, it was like all kind of cut uh, when we did the Victor Bill deal. Oh, okay. So it just had like, I chopped the top like right here and didn't have bedside, so I was rocking this like kind of weird, you know, monster looking machine for a while. We got down there and uh, they were like, how do you feel about Raptor glass? And I'm like, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. You know? So we ended up just taking, they took it down and 
Yeah, this was the first mold. Now you can go purchase all of this. Really? The molds got made off of it. So this is the original stretched. Yep. So well, so we're so we're gonna kind of get into that too. Like one yeah. of the original, one of the original stretch the, Broncos, right? I would say for the glass. Because for the glass. Chat, uh, John Dominguez with the blue Bronco. Right. His truck, which both of our back halves got built by the same person. Okay. His truck was done before mine. He was out using it, and he's the reason why I got it done. I was bugging him, asking him all this stuff. Because his truck works great, looks great. So yeah, this whole chassis is basically you know identical to his. You know, minor changes okay. and things. I see some big old links on there. Yeah, we got the Quixotic 55 inch, his, I think. Kevin's, right? Yeah, I think he has some race links that are TIG and these are the MIG version, you know. I and how's the MIG version? I mean, I don't even know how many years it's been now that it's linked, but there's definitely nothing wrong with them. They're holding up to all the abuse. Yeah, see, you guys don't need to get it TIG. Yeah. But dude, this works, man. Hell yeah. A, a whole MIG truck. Look at this, so look at this whole thing. Sway bar tucked up in there. Yeah. The uh, it's a 74 weld. Really like that. Seems to be kind of popular with people. Nice, man. So there hasn't been anything on the back half here that's really ever needed any attention. Just kind of paint it up and yeah. that's about it. And what rear end you guys got in here? Curry full floater nine inch. Uh, okay. This setup was on the truck when it was leaf sprung. And then like I think I said earlier, it has the 10 inch third member from Evan Wilder. Which is definitely the stronger. Yeah, I mean, I think with the weight of the truck, you know, I'm kind of forced into a couple of bigger upgrades like that. Then if you have like a Ranger or something, you know, you can kind of get away with get away with not having to do that. Right. Like this is a cow. You need you need that big old yeah. ten inch for sure. So for sure. Plus, we do our big trips like we've been talking and. Yeah, you don't want anything to fail. Upgrades that you know get you there. And uh, what's the shock package back here? 2.5 coilover, 2.5 bumps, 3.0 okay. bypass. Right on. 3.2, again, tuned 10 times by me and my friends. Right on. So, one day, cool. one day I'll maybe get it tuned professionally, and I'm sure it'll work better, but it does good. Yeah, dude, looks like you got a lot of up travel, too. Yeah. Well, so what are, what are the travel numbers on this thing? Front is strapped at 19, and then the back is strapped at like 29, which if I wanted to, we could actually pull a little more because the Chevy uh, motor and transmission is shorter. So you get a longer drive shaft out of it where okay. the Ford, uh, which is what this was all set up with, Ford is longer. Okay. So the drive shaft shorter and you, you kind of got to strap it a little tighter, right otherwise on. you get too much drive shaft plunge right, right. out of it. So now that I don't have that, if I really wanted to, I could let it out a little more, but Dude, the 29, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But, you know. Heck yeah. I love this, yeah. all of this. Who built this thing, man? Uh, that was done when the back half was. Okay. So, and then it's got the Baja Designs RTL in there. Kind of tough to in there, but it's got the uh, awesome. 50 gallon uh, fuel safe cell in there. Just a single spare. You get your filler, some extra fluids. You know, got the jack, little solo motorsports mount on there. And then in front of the tire, kind of hard to see from here, there's just a bunch of storage, which works out good for the trips. Perfect. You can shove, uh, you know, tents, snacks, pillows, you know, all that good stuff in there. Nice. Beef uh, jerky? Beef jerky. <laughs> all the beef jerky. All the beef so, jerky, dude. Pretty simple back here. You know? Heck yeah, dude. I so, love that this is still functional, oh yeah. by the way. Yeah, you got that. You got the, the window, you know, works, all that good stuff. Dude. So, super simple in the back. This big old window. Was this... So what what is this cover off of? Is this so, no? It's a so it's a Bronco top. Okay. And then like on this Bronco, you can this will show you perfectly. So I cut it because this seams here, so it gave me like an even line, right? So I cut it at that line, and then that's like uh, in Victorville when I was running, it was just cut here. And then what I did was I took another top and I cut it, you know, about here, and then I put it on the back. And if you look through from the inside because I've never really finished it. You can see you can see that line's the original top. Oh, and then this okay. is the top that I graft on. And I uh, you know just kind of put this plate in to fill it all. Yeah. Fiberglass the whole deal. So it's just two tops cut together. Dude, that is awesome. And it yeah. looks again, yeah. it looks so damn like smooth. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. I think it's kind of like a squint where you're just like, that Bronco looks cool, but what's different about it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, now I stared at my truck so long, then I look at Ray the Broncos. I'm like, ah, it looks weird. <laughs> it looks different because yeah. you're so used to this version. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Very yeah. cool. You want to go over the inside of the thing? Yeah. 
All right, cool. Let's check it out. Dude, is that a windshield wiper I see? That works? Look at that. Nice, man. That's a must, huh? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Next couple upgrades, seats. These have been in here for 10 years. Wow. So okay. They, they're seeing some abuse. I want to get some carpet in here, some AC. Okay. You know, I've been doing, spending all my money on performance, and I'm ready to make it, make, make it a little luxury keep it for nice. Right. You got, you know, Would you big, look at that? big Holly Dash. You got, you know, I have the iPad there. The passenger has the iPad for GPS and everything for our big trips. You know, you get your so sick. windows on rockers here. You know. Look at that, you guys. That is freaking awesome. So again, fiber works dash. Super nice. Super pumped on that. It looks so... Uh, it looks sports car in here, dude. Yeah. It really does, dude. Oh, yeah, everyone was making fun of me for all the screens, but I love it. It's nice. And the cool thing, too, is the screen. It's like, it's like pin my ride. Seen, but yeah, I can see, be seen by everyone. You can be the back seat. <laughs> there, you can see it all. That's freaking so. awesome. No, I love it, dude. I, I'm, I'm a fan of the screens. Yeah. And then it looks like you can get a, a third person super comfortable back yeah. here. Before I got linked, it was a four seater. So now with the shocks coming through, you kind of have to, you can either do like a bench or something, but it's kind of tight. So I just. So, so new baby on the way. Yeah. So you might have just have to figure seat. something out. Maybe like a, another. a removable or a little two seater bench. Well, or I think, uh, I think on John's Bronco, he actually had a, a bench at the back that was more like a kid's seat. So he okay. could have his kids back there. So maybe I'll have to, you know, start going into that. Dad, dad crew. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet down the exhaust, get yeah. the AC, you know. That's what I'm talking about, dude. So, and then, and then the, the, the wife will be stoked, man. Yeah. Heck yeah. So I see we got some fire extinguishers yep. right here. Very important, guys. Yeah, got fire extinguishers. Can't little. stress this enough. It's not just for you. It's for people and accidents you guys might come across in the desert, right? Yep. So really important. I, I love it in here, dude. I yep, love it. It looks simple. awesome. Super simple. You know, and what's so cool is, again, like you said, you're like, you know, I wanted to structurally focus on performance first yeah. right so you got your motor you're getting your big beams in you're going up to your 40s your trucks linked now you have your yeah. big old gas tank you have your full floater housing you have everything and then now you're going to go into the like the luxury side yeah, sound of, of detonation things. carpet you know make it look pretty in here you know but see and, so. and this is the journey that a lot of people don't get to see yeah. and this is what's so cool is like you know you guys get to see what we do what people yeah. do you know very cool man and this cage looks badass yeah. Looks very strong and sound, man. Yeah. It's all for looks, though. I hope you never yeah. have to use it. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> awesome, man. Oh. Yeah, no, that's the, uh, that's the, the trick door? Yeah. We gotta just slam it. Go right here. Yeah. There we go. It, it had to get a whole new, it had to get a whole new V pillar. Luckily, I've got a parts Bronco on hand, so. Yeah. This, this all had to come out and, you know. Right on, right on. Yeah. We gotta get a little slam. Right on, man. Well, well, dude, thank you so much, man, for taking us through the shop. Yeah. Independence Electric, guys. Thank you guys for checking out this episode. Thank you, Project X, for supporting us. I'm super stoked on the way these things look, the way they perform. Can't wait to put them to use this next season. Dalton, silent dude in the back holding it down the whole time. <laughs> Dalton is now here pretty much full time over here at Independence Electric with Tanner. So again, guys, you guys have big projects coming up or you guys want things done right and tight this is a place to go for all your electrical needs guys they're up here in palmdale antelope valley we'll definitely be seeing this thing a any plans for the future man before uh, before we, we sign off for sure hell truck yeah i mean for the truck we got the 40s we got the ocho fat beams we got new coolers uh hoon handle in there okay know? Uh, maybe some more luxury things carpet ac stuff like that i mean it's been doing good so just gonna kind of keep Keep it out there. Yeah. Um, keep going to other events yeah. and stuff. Yeah, just keep it together. It's kind of, you know. That's a great plan. Time. I love it, dude. That's the way to do it. Yeah. And then as far as independent electric, just keep keep working. Keep building trucks. I appreciate everyone who's been here and all the cool trucks we've got to work on. So Right on, man. Appreciate it. How long is your, time, your wait time right now for an opening? I, it changes. I mean, I feel like I'll go on like a week where like 20 people hit me up and I've got the next eight months booked. Wow. And then... For six months of that, no one messaged me, and then I'm, you know, you hit me up and I'm ready You're... next month. So it really just depends. I mean, it's, I would say it's similar to fab stuff, you know. You yep. definitely got to plan ahead. Don't expect that, you know, you're going to get in in a week. Cause it's not McDonald's. Not, you're not going to drive up yeah, and just get it. There's not too many electrical guys out there. So. Yeah. There definitely isn't, you guys. And, and, and that's why, you know, all of us have supported our boy in doing what he's doing, man. 
full, full, full time, right? Full time. Let, fully left the other full time. I, I think it's probably, you know, 5 a.m. to sometimes midnight, seven days a week. Right so on. trying to get stuff done. Shout out to your wife, bro. Yes. For being supportive well, she'll, of you. She'll be in here, the TV's for her. Watch there the we TV go. on the couch, you know, while I'm working, so. Sweep the shop for the baby, yeah. you know, to like, to take off the little walker. <laughs> yep. Heck yeah, man. Well, again, thank you guys for checking out this episode. Super stoked for our boy Tanner. Catch this thing at Hell Track. Lots of cool stuff coming up. If you guys have any inquiries, you guys can hit them up directly. You guys can also hit up Project X right here. We'll throw the link in, in the bio of this episode. You guys can uh, check out some of their other products they have offering for your truck and for your needs. We'll see you guys around. Thank you guys so much. Later.